Jerry's block bug. Secure a hook in the vise and cover the area between the hook eye and the point with thread. Cut the tag end of thread off and build up a ball of thread in the middle of that area. Once you create a substantial ball, we'll finish the thread off and cut it. After that, prepare a piece of one quarter inch foam about an inch long and a cubic centimeter in width. Cut a notch in the foam about the length of the hook shank and you should go as deep about halfway into the foam. You want the whole foam to engulf the shank of the hook. Try testing it out. If you need to go deeper, go deeper. Once you get the good measurement, see if it engulfs the whole shank of the hook, like that, with a good hook gap still there. After that, grab some super glue and put some drops on the thread wraps. Then pinch the foam, making sure the gap is wide open, and push it over the thread wraps, making sure that none of the shank below it or the thread wraps are showing. The foam should be right up against the eye. Then put a couple drops of super glue right on top of the foam. Take a piece of brighter foam and thinner, about the same width as the body, and put it right on top as an indicator. Then pierce a needle about a centimeter in length behind the eye into the foam body. Put a rubber leg through the eye of the needle. Once you get it through, make sure that the rubber leg is even on both sides and then push the needle through with the rubber legs. You should have about an inch in length of rubber legs on either side of the body. Make sure the legs are even. After that, put a couple super glue drops on where the threads stick out of the body to secure them. This is not necessary, but I like to create eyes. Just use a lighter color and then a darker color for the pupil. And that's basically the whole bug. It's a good bluegill or just using as an indicator for trout.